Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. I am so excited to be here, not only with Rachel, Quartz in the house, and Gus, my dog. So stay tuned for that. You're going to not want to miss out getting to meet little Goosey. He is adorable and honestly the best thing that could ever happen to anyone, but I'm a little judgmental but guys but i'm a little i'm a little biased towards gus but anyway guys i'm so excited you're here as you tune in share with us where you're visiting from let us know what you've got going on i have a special treat for everyone today rachel yeah it's a pretty big treat because i've gotten a lot of emails in my inbox i've gotten a lot of messages and i am bringing the 30 percent off sale one day okay guys flash sale. flash sale time 24 hours we are giving you guys 30 percent off to get your membership so that means you need to go and get your year membership right now it is the first link below it is going to be awesome you do not want to miss out on this it is a 24 hour flash sale just because I know it's the holiday season. I know that you want your membership. So we're trying to make it as feasible as possible for everyone to join that has not yet been able to join. And time is ticking. And once you see that we have 20, I said 20 craft projects we're going to dive into today, you're going to want to get them. So we are making it totally possible one day only for you guys to get your year membership at 30% off so you can get access to our 600 plus cut files. Courtney has been working effortlessly on launching our font program. Courtney, how many fonts are we up to right now? 53. We have 50, 53 fonts. 20 more. Should be 20 are we are working with new designers we are bringing in new people to the team to deliver you guys the best thing possible so in january we're launching a ton of new fonts we are starting the 12 days of giveaways starting next monday if all goes well and rachel guess how much we're giving away with the 12 days of giveaways tell us we're giving away over two thousand dollars in gifts and prizes and you have to be a member to get that so i've been chatting for a little bit there's a lot to take in if you were brand new here well Welcome to the madness. We are so excited you're here. But Ra Rachel, who's tuning in? Oh, we have so many. Really? People. Desiree, Cindy, hey. Carla, Tammy, Sharon, Ali, and Kathy. Everyone says hello. Well, hello, guys. I hope you all have been enjoying the past two videos where we dove into our Christmas tree. And today we're giving you a full room tour just to see how we ended up using Buffalo plaid and kind of see where we did our DIYs for our Christmas. Um, I know a lot of you all are working on yours. So I'm so super excited to share this but I'm also super excited for 30% off we'll talk more about it after the tour so if you have questions let us know if you want to get your membership and you're like I wanted there's been a lot of you that emailed me and I did not want to do it <laughs> um, but I didn't have time to build the 20% off page which like I said during our Black Friday last time we're doing 30% off I wouldn't be doing it today but I didn't have time to build a 20% off discount page um, we just had a 30 so for sake of everyone you're getting extra bonuses so I know you guys want it so this is a great time to jump on in I know the holidays are tight so if you are wanting a year membership act fast because this is not going to be forever but Rachel is there any questions comments are they what are they saying about the room they're loving it they can't wait to get into all, all the right you're gonna show. yeah so it's gonna be great because a lot of these projects have their very own video right yeah. So it's awesome. So let's come on over and start right here. As soon as you walk into the living room, can we just show Gus right now? Goosey. Hi. Oh, he wants Tanner. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, get on there. Get on your belly. You want belly rub? You want belly rub? Oh, look at him. Guys, look at his little tongue. Okay. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Focusing on projects. Right off the bat here, we have one of our favorite projects, which is an iron on project. So we have this iron on wood project, which is amazing. You are not going to want to miss out on this. Gus is, it needs to sit down. And then we have our cookies for Santa plate, which is awesome. I love it. It's so much fun. And these have their very own video for these projects. So it is going to be awesome. You can check those out. Super awesome, super simple, and a lot of fun. So next up, I'm coming over here. Um, next up, we have their snow place like 
a home, which is so adorable. We love, love, love this pillow. And we taught it, you guys how to make it on the live stream. And even though, you know, our theme is Buffalo plaid, what I love about this is we still brought in those reds with the iron on. So super awesome and super simple for you guys to be able to create your very own and have a lot of fun with this. This pillow was purchased at Michael's and it looks great right over here in the corner. This is kind of like a, a chair we had from the office that we just never know what to do. So it just kind of sits here, hangs it's out. It's the time out chair. It's the time out chair. I mean, I'll honestly use it to like put my shoes on. Next up, we have our tinsel project. And guys, be able to keep up and keep count if you are trying to count how many projects that we have cricketed. There's so many. Do guys, so come here. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness. Say hi, guys. Say hey, everyone at home. Say hey. Say hi. <laughs> oh, look at him. Say hey. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, so don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Rachel, can you see these cords? I'm gonna just kind of sit them down. Just I'm just gonna throw them down and we can just drag them. So don't get your tinsel in a tangle. I love this one, it's adorable. All you need to do is get a glass block from the craft store, fill it full with your tinsel, and then um, add your vinyl and all. The, the projects so far you've seen yep. all from makersgonnalearn.com. You can get your digital cut files and as soon as you join, with the 30% off that first link, you are gonna be able to start making all of these projects. Rachel loves to talk about us having over 150 for Christmas alone, but plus you get the hundreds literally hundreds of other cut files. So it's a lot of fun. Um, you can see pictures of all of us, the whole fam over here. Um, my Roomba, oh, this is yes. its temporary home. Um, the Roomba is amazing. If you're thinking about getting one, highly recommend. Um, right here we have the 18 days till Christmas. It's freaking me out because it's too, too soon. We love this one. You get a chalk marker, your chalkboard, perfect for your living room, perfect for your kitchen. Wherever you want it to be is where it can perfect be. For kids too. Yeah, it really, really is. So super easy, super fun project. Um, coming over, let's go over here next. So this is an area that I love. Courtney actually picked out the majority of this, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Well, first I'll tell you about the table. So this table I found, um, it's a Target table, but we got two of these for like $20 at one of those over um, overhaul stores, yeah. overstock. Um, so Court, do you wanna talk about the design of this and like where you got everything from? Yeah, so we had a lot of red going on with the buffalo plaid and I wanted to kind of uh, bring in some neutrals and some like lighter tone colors mm -hmm. to go along with that. So we got this natural basket and i it's, love this basket it's a woven basket and or like basket tray and this will be great for all year long which is mm -hmm. something fun to look out for when you're doing some uh christmas shopping because this goes great with the christmas decor but we're going to keep it on the table all year yeah and then these are some cute little village houses they were at target and then this vase is from Magnolia sure. Home, and we have some nice little eucalyptus in here. Yeah, we got that and at the craft store. These trees, right? Yeah, so I actually made these. Um, they're so much fun. We have them in the Cricut tour or the Cricut top to bottom videos that we've been posting. If you all haven't caught these already, um, it's just the wood base, the hot glue, you know, the whole project that's a Cricut Make It Now. Um, and they're so awesome. We have our Apple TV remote. Oh, Rachel, we didn't turn the fireplace. On, dang oh, it. <laughs> we're gonna get sorry, guys. Yeah, so we love this. I love the whites in this. It makes it so airy, but it also makes that, you know, holiday esh feel, which is really awesome. Um, white, Christmas. white Christmas. And then while we're over here, let's show this right here. This is my favorite corner of our couch, and it's so adorable. Rachel, I'm just gonna have to sit down. I'm gonna go. Oh, sit down. I'm just gonna sit down for a second. Um, Gus is adorable. So we have the Marion Brat, which is the plaid pillow that I love um, and then this is a blanket from Target of course and it's just the coziest corner of the couch Rachel will attest to me falling asleep in about 10 15 minutes one yeah. night we we're having a movie night around Halloween and I like there was six people probably plopped on this couch and I just just fell asleep. We were all laughing and talking until <laughs> it was out. <laughs> but that's how I always end up. So it's always a fun time. Um, really a lot of fun. So I'm going to move over here. Next up, we have this table. This table is kind of like not, this is not where its normal home would be. It's normally where the Christmas tree is. But you know, you have those pieces of furniture. You're like, what do I do with when the Christmas tree's up? Right, Rachel? Oh, yeah. You yep. can't just... 
I mean, you gotta do something with it. Yeah, him. you really do. And Gus is, like, is this not the best dog ever? Yeah. Like, can we give a thumbs up for Gus? Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to know his name, so it is Gus. So it's Gus. Yeah. Look, say, hey, Gus. Say, hey, what's good, y'all? That tongue is just... Look at him. Oh. He's precious. Yeah. And then he, he'll he let you hold him like a baby, too. So we'll hold him like a baby for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but this is Walking him into Wonderland. And this is one of my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite projects. Um, it's so awesome. It's gold vinyl. You fill it full with the snow of your choice. And it's just a great way to decorate with this holiday season. So much fun. And then coming over here, I'm gonna move to this side so you can start zooming in. I made mine and my mom's stockings out of iron-on. And these are, again, buffalo plaid from, I wanna say, Michaels? Yep, Michaels. So Michaels is yep. where we got our stockings this holiday season. Courtney picked out this beautiful eucalyptus. This is from the Magnolia line. Hearth and Hand. Hearth and oh, Hand. Love we love it. Um, and then we are still bringing over these little trees. These little village houses are adorable, guys. We love those. And then this is where we made the banner and we used buffalo plaid rachel worked very hard to position everything right on and i'm not a paper crafter yeah rachel I'm is not, not a paper, paper crafter, crafter but we uh, myself and i tested myself and i My rachel <laughs> rachel and myself um kind of went through these and made them but they're adorable and you get the entire template with a cricut make it now so you can make this and we just changed up the the top layer to be the buffalo plaid paper and it really does fill in a lot for that and we already had painted our fireplace red um like years ago so we just love that here's my stocking oh, yeah. um we've incorporated another one of our trees um more of the little houses love those houses. but yeah they're adorable and then moving on down let's let's get down right oh rachel I, I went to the gym this morning i did a lot of squats anyway oh. <laughs> i'm getting sore gus didn't do any squats gus did, 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 how many squats did you do you want to go to the gym goosey he didn't do any squats. <laughs> um this is our warmest wishes so this is just honestly rachel isn't this like a better homes and garden tin oh yeah it was like 10 bucks from walmart was it even 10 maybe maybe, maybe 10. 10 um and we just added warmest wishes that's from our bonus holiday collection from last year, from last year. Mm -hmm. you can find that on your dashboard download that today if you are a member um and then this buffalo plaid blanket like guys oh, yeah. buffalo plaid has like just taken over my entire life like i love it um so then here's where we get crazy because we're breaking down the entire tree it's awesome you guys do not want to miss out on hearing about this entire tree start uh, top to bottom so that's what we're going to do right now um we can start right up at the top and Courtney actually picked out this amazing tree topper from Michaels. I, guys, I don't know how she does it. I don't either. Like, Court, how do you do it? So much talent. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so what we actually did was we took the hat and we changed out the ribbon. Do you remember what kind of ribbon it had on it originally? It was a different kind of plaid. Yeah, it wasn't our buffalo. Yeah. In yeah. So it just wasn't buffalo plaid. So unfortunately, we took that apart, put the buffalo plaid ribbon on it, which was amazing. And then we, Rachel, um, carved out the inside of a hat because it is not meant to be a tree topper. As you're going to learn, this whole tree was kind of like very unique and like popped together. Um, but anyway, so we made that, you know, stick to the tree topper. You could do a zip tie. I think it would be even easier to zip tie it to a branch. But I, mean, I just love how it's like tilted a little. I mean, it's really adorable. So then we can go down here and talk about, you know, building the, the actual tree. So Rachel's family, I learned, always does ribbon first. And Rachel's motto is to ribbon last. So I'm still trying to debate which one's right because I, I don't know. Rachel, do you have a this? I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you about this. Right. Is there a reason you do ribbon last? I do ribbon last in my house. I think it's because after you put in all the ornaments and you see where the placement is, you see where the ribbon needs to go. Okay. And there's several different types that you can do the ribbons. Okay. Like you can 
you know, wave yeah. it around the tree or right. stick it in, stick it out, whatever. So I just like to like fill in the holes with my ribbon. But okay. other people do love to start with the ribbon. Totally. Um, um, so each your own, each your own with the tree. So Rachel, when we're putting the tree together, what is your favorite way to start? Do you start with the berries? Do you start with the ornaments? What is the the thing for you? I started with the ball ornaments. <gasps> okay. I like to start with the basic ball ornaments. Uh huh. Being mindful to leave the gaps yes. where I want my bigger pieces okay. to go. Okay. So like for example, a land. Turn. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah, and array done ornaments and things like that. Right. I wanted those to be spaced out. Yeah, spaced out, but you know, very balanced. Yes. So you put the bulbs there with the intention of putting your more meaningful pieces. Right, right, right. Where they're supposed okay. to be. Okay. Um, and then when would you incorporate your berries? Or is that the like berries, towards the last? Berries are last. Okay. Yeah, berries are Love last. that. Um, let's break down. Let's start with the lantern since it's kind of up here at the top. Um, this is a Make It Now project actually in partnership with Martha Stewart. How amazing is this lantern, guys? Like, I love it. Um, oh no, we're having some issues with the sign-up page. Uh-oh, um, we will get that updated link and have to do another live stream, but we will get you that link. So let, I'm so sorry about that. Um, but next up we have the this and we're just using vellum like if you haven't watched the video making this exact one go go watch, go it. watch it cuz you're you're going to love how easy it is it pops up super easy and it doesn't look easy but tanner tanner did it's easy job. i yeah. promise like we use the same materials we use don't use regular cardstock you want to use a matte board type material um, and that's super big it's, is this not the best dog ever He's just chilling. He's, He's just chilling. He's, He's like falling asleep. He, he doesn't care. No. He doesn't care. We've had Gus for like 10 years. So he, me and him are tight. Um, next up is our Ray Dunn inspired ornaments. I love the Ray Dunn inspired ornaments. Um, this is just a font from Defont. We teach you guys how to, you know, use that there. And it's so incredible. Um, and it's honestly just applying vinyl straight onto the ornament um, that these were purchased from Michael's. And then if you look at the red ones, we got those all at Target in like a like a big like 20 pack or so. Probably yeah, a big it was one of those big tube ones and, and I just okay, I just have to say, say it. I love those packs of ornaments from Target because they come with the hooks. <gasps> they come with the hooks. Like, what the heck? I've never that's seen awesome. That. Target takes such good care of us. I like love we love that. Yeah. Um, so that's incredible. And then Rachel added the bows on the Ray Dunn ornaments, which I think just make the project. I so. learned that from Courtney. Yeah. I didn't know how to make a bow. <laughs> and then Courtney taught me how to make a bow. Yeah. And what video was that? Do we know? Yeah. We made the gl era of famous first glitter ornament. The first glitter oh. Ornament. The Merry Christmas, y'all. So it's like, red. okay, it's the, I think the title's like the best DIY glitter ornaments, yes, guys. Sir. If you're looking for that video, yeah. great video. Um, and then next up, let's talk about our iron on wood project right here so freaking adorable um and guys this is following the same process as our um other one that we had over when we first started the video but again we have a video teaching you exactly how to make these so it was actually posted today a lot of people's already commenting on it and sharing all there is about the Christmas tree it is so incredible we love it um, and we're just super excited so next up after that is there anything else we made on the tree I don't think, I don't think so have we we, we will talk about the basket. Let's go ahead and get low again, right? Oh, I'm squatting down. It's sore. Um, so now this right here was a act of love. This was a huge project. I do not recommend doing what we ended up having to do for this. Um, we bought the basket before figuring out how to, um, you know, make the tree fit in it. And it's from Target. I mean, I absolutely love it. It matches our... Uh, yes. It matches our thingy over here. So it matches really, really well. Um, but we didn't know how to put it in there. So what we ended up doing was we built our own base out of cement and PVC. It wasn't terribly hard, but it was, you know, a lot of cure time, a lot of dry time, but it was, you know, I would say worth it. So we're gonna go over to Courtney and Courtney, explain to us what you were seeing about trends about no tree skirts and be mindful of the mic that I, just so everyone at home can hear okay, you. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I think that the more modern way to do it and what the way that I prefer to do it is to have your tree either in a basket or a box. And okay. I've seen, if you're wanting to go that route, I've seen some other ways to do it. We probably were not the best. <laughs> we didn't go about it the best way. We just bought a basket and we're like, whoa, we'll stick we'll the tree We'll figure it out, it. yeah. Um, um, but there's products that can wrap around it. Yeah, so the like, more research that I've a done. There's two-part basket that like is big enough to put your actual tree base in, and then you just put the two sides of the basket, and it like doesn't have a bottom. Right. It just makes it look like it's in the basket. Wow. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. You could do like a cardboard box Ooh. that like Wrapped is with just gift the wrap. same size or like bigger than your base, and you can wrap that in gift wrap Ooh. or like. Contact paper, Contact paper something anything. Fun yeah. To, uh, yeah, glitter and it. And then you would just take the bottom out and then cut a whole, yeah. like, cut a, cut up one side to make it wrap around yeah. and then tape it up. Very cool. But I've we love this. Crates, wooden crates. Crates are great. Is this like a very Joanna Gaines style? Like, wh would you say who? I would assume Joanna Gaines. I'm, would I'm put sure everyone. Basket, but everyone's doing it. Sure, yeah. Who knows? We love <laughs> it. So, coming down, looking at our, our, our gifts, like, oh my gosh, look at these adorable gifts. Um, I have a few stories. So, first of all, we, I purchased, um, like to and from tags, but last night I could not find them. So guess what? We'll, we'll give Blake's gift right here. Oh, yeah, we here. we just wrote literally hey, to and simplistic. from. Simplistic. We love. Um, it. but oh here here's one. So right here, these are our 3D bows that we made with the Cricut. So you can do these either way. I personally did not have time to make 20 to 30 of these for um, all of my gifts. So this is kind of like one of those things that you get to decide, do you want to make 30 of these or do you just want to buy a pack at Target for like two or three dollars? They're so cute. Now though. they are adorable. Yeah. That's what I love about these bows. They are freaking adorable. Use them for a few. Um, you don't have to do it for everything, um, but we love these and they're really, they look more complicated than they are. Oh yeah. Um, Rachel was kind of blown away with me just popping those built together. Um, it was super easy for the video. Video. And then last but not least is our latest live stream. That is my favorite. Well, we did one yesterday, but um, day before yesterday, we shared, oh, come let us adore him. Another amazing Maker's Gonna Learn cut file. Teach you guys how to build this out of paint star sticks. It was incredible. It was amazing. And we love it. Um, so, so much fun. What is everyone thinking? Do you want to read some comments? Everyone loves it. Yay! Sue says, hi, I'm a newbie. Hey, Sue. This is my first live. Welcome. I love my maker and I love you guys. Yay. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. We love it. Fern says, I just got a Cricut that I have never used one before. Hey, Fern. We're so excited to give you some inspiration. And guys, can you believe there's over, we just went over like 20 projects. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it, that's incredible to me that there's 20 projects in this room that are handmade. And you guys can have a handmade holiday too with our membership site. Rachel, are there a lot of comments saying the link is not working? No. Okay, um, so if you are wanting to get the 30% off, double check that link works. If it doesn't, um, we will be coming back later today already planned um, to let you guys know about that sale um, on its own video. But seriously, this is going to be an amazing 24-hour sale where you're able to get your um, entire A to Z um, die cutting files, video trainings, our year members get all of our bonuses. So you guys have heard me talk about it. You get the video trainings, you get all of our cut files. Um, fonts are exclusive to year members, which is something I didn't speak on earlier in the video. If you're an existing monthly member and you want to upgrade to yearly, to get the video trainings, $150 in value, crazy, to teach you your Cricut Maker design space, the, um, how to build a business with your die cutting machine, that's huge. Um, but also to get access to all of our fonts and we're gonna be adding in exclusive font trainings as well to manipulate and improve and work with that. So it's incredibly fun. We are so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I thought it'd be better since you got to see each project already broken down that we'd break down the entire kind of like space and room um, just to give you guys some more inspiration. We live in quite an older home, so it's hard to do terribly too much um, and we're super busy. So like this is a very practical Christmas tree, I would say, Whitney, Rachel. Oh yeah. Like super practical, um, not a lot to it. Lastly, before we didn't get to finish talking about your process, Rachel, if you want to come back closer so they can hear you. Um, what do you have any tips for putting ribbon on a tree? Because I know even for you, someone that's done it before multiple times, you were still a little nervous. Oh yeah, yeah, um, especially with like, 
I don't know. You always think, do I have enough? Before you even start, do I have enough ribbon? You know, is it going right. to look the way I want to? And I would say, uh, yeah, I definitely have some good tips. So start at the top Okay, is a really good tip. And also, um, I just wrapped it around. I didn't try to wrap it around perfectly outside of the tree is how I wrapped it. And you can you can tweak it after. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And then I stood back and I, I wanted to make sure my placement was right. So each row Kinda, had a good mm-hmm. amount of space in between it, you know, pretty even. Okay. And then once I got that right is when I started to tuck the layers into the tree so you can see it has a it has a bit of a tucked look it's not just you know straight all the way around it's you know wavy and tucked right out again so well, and then yay. after that we added the berries and courtney picked up the berries the best touch ever yeah i love the berries. berries they're amazing and the gift wrap now i don't know about you guys if you're like me you pick three patterns three three patterns of wrapping paper and those are your paper for the year like that's the gift wrap. Like you, you've got to find it. Well, I've went to four targets and I've even had Courtney look again. We were shopping in North Carolina and these plaid Christmas tree gift wrap, so, so adorable. Cannot find, cannot find these anywhere else, unfortunately. Um, so I only have like two rolls of that, but we've used it for some good ones. And then we did the craft paper with the foil um, snowflakes, which I love. And then we did the buffalo, the original buffalo plaid. And that, you get a huge roll for $5 at um, Target. So we love that. Goosey, what do you love? What do you love, Goosey? Are you falling asleep? Wake up. Wake up. Look at your little tongue. My dog can just fall asleep right there. I mean, my dog, look at him. He watches me craft. He watches me on the computer. He does a lot of computer work, guys. We almost put him on customer service. Um, he's adorable. But yeah, Goosey, have you had fun hanging out with everyone today? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Again, if you do want to take advantage of our 30% off sale, take advantage. You get grandfathered in at that rate. So there's no price increase next year. It's so much fun. We are redeveloping our entire website for you guys. We are pouring into the membership for 2019. Especially the year members. Especially year members because that means you are dedicated and wanting to improve not only your crafting ability, but wanting to hang out and get inspiration and projects. So we're just continuing to pour into it. I do have to say it is our most popular membership tier for all of the reasons we've already talked about. So be sure to take advantage of it if you have reached out and wondered about it. This is a great 24 hour sale um, launching Monday day we are doing 12 days of christmas for our members and any member can take part in that and to be entered more information coming then well we have a really fun collection coming out on the 12th next week that's gonna be a lot of fun and i just can't wait like the holidays are super busy we've got things happening almost every day rachel it's kind of crazy yeah. um, but it's all good we love it all so guys thank you so much for hanging out and watching the room tour if you have any questions comments anything you'd like to let us know please do um in the comments and we will be back very soon and gus is honestly falling asleep can you wake up and say bye to everyone say bye, say bye. yep no he's asleep love y'all mean it bye